one thing I want people to know about me is that um, I care deeply for Spot Hero and what we do. I mean, I've been here so long, I've made a lot of friends, um, spent a lot of late nights working with people. Um, so I care deeply for Spot Hero. So like a lot of times I'm, you know, funny and sometimes I get serious. And you know, I get serious about things sometimes because it's Spot Hero, you know. We built this and it's important to me. The one thing I want people to know about me is there's a lot more to me than I, what I do eight hours a day every day. One thing I want people to know about me is that I am the world's biggest Bruno Mars fan. I think the, the thing I'd want people to know about me is that I'm not one thing. I am many things. I am many personalities, sometimes contradictions. Um, I'm part British, which means I'm a little bit reserved, and part Argentinian, which means I'm a little bit flamboyant and emotional. So, like most humans, I am more than one thing. Get to know me and find out. Um, so I think one thing that people would be very surprised to know about me is during the day, you know, as people see me running around the office, um, you know, uh, you know, very being interactive and being very outgoing. Um, but when I go home at night, I'm actually a big, I'm, in, I'm an introvert. Um, so I love sitting on the couch and doing those types of things. Um, but I think the one thing that reflects that is my, is my hobby, which is basically smoking and barbecue. Um, it's a perfect mix of my personalities because I love the quiet and I love being able to spend hours upon end, you know, experimenting and doing those types of things, um, you know, making, making different meals. But in the end, I get to share it with people. And I really love that. I love to see how people interact with that. And I love to see how they actually converse and converse and discuss just over w whatever I just created for people. Something that would surprise people to know about me uh, would be that I was bullied from a young age, um, I'd say into my teen years, uh, for the reason being is I'm from a small town um, and being kind of called out when you're not ready to come out um, and being bullied in that way was something that really, that I, I struggled with growing up. Something I think people would be surprised to know about me is that I didn't always work in tech. My first career was as a bakery product developer, so for seven years my job was to come up with croissant and pastry recipes and taste them, and that sounds uh, really great. I actually love what I do now much more. Something that people would be surprised to know is that Love Actually is my absolute favorite movie, all time. When I'm my most authentic self, I'm a people person. Uh, I like to be around people. I like to engage with people, I like to ask people questions, I like them to engage with me, uh, just see how their, do their day is going, where they're going in life, uh, what they like to do for fun. You never know what you might get out of a person just talking to them, so I'm a people person. Um, when I am my most authentic self, I am listening to the voice inside of me. Um, it has nothing truly to do with identity or that first layer that people associate typically with personalities. Um, I feel like it's something where if I have an affirmation inside of me after doing something, that's when I feel like I'm being true to myself. When I am my most authentic self, I am really laid back and goofy. Um, I like to see the good in almost everyone, but you know, like at the root of that, I just like to joke around with people and not take life too seriously. i have the person I am when I'm at my most authentic self. Really, um, is the person I'm here every day. You know, I love that I don't have to be anybody different. Um, I can represent who I am. Um, and that people are accepting, and people encourage that here. Something that I'm most proud of about myself is that I have come to just fully accept myself for who I am, and I've really learned to love myself. What am I most proud of? Um, I think I'm most proud of how I handled my 20s. <laughs> a very interesting time, graduating college, moving to a new city, switching careers, relationships, um, lots of ups and downs. It all turned out a okay. <laughs> my kids, but other than my kids, I mean, I'm I'm most proud of what we've done here. You know, it's it's gone from sitting at a table at 1871 to hundreds of employees and. 
people will see like the Spot Hero sticker on my car and go, Spot Hero, I use that. Do you use it too? Yeah, I gotta tell them. <laughs> the one thing I'm the most proud of, I would say, is sort of finishing college, um, helping support my family. You know, being an immigrant, you know, my parents uh, sort of struggling through some times early on, um, being with them, um, helping them, you know, buy a house, get established, uh, sort of living that American dream, if you will. One of the best moments of belonging that I have it on, on an almost um, everyday basis is at the end of every meeting, it's pretty cheesy, but the team all goes, go team. And we know that it's cheesy and not everyone does it, but that's part of the belonging too, is we know who's going to do it, who's not, who's going to try to run away before it happens. And just that feeling of knowing that we're gonna do that at the end of every meeting and that you know how people are gonna react and you get to do it however you want is um, really great. Um, a time where I felt I belong here at Spot Hero. Uh, this is kind of interesting. When I first started, like I said before, coming from a bigger company, and this has been the first kind of smaller startup company I ever worked at, um, and then we had a, a issue popped up, and it was like, where's the minds? I'm like, well, you know what? I do feel belong right now. <laughs> People are looking for me. Uh, but it felt good. It felt good to be wanted. It felt good to be a part of the team. Uh, so I say from, from start being here and getting uh, started in, in my particular position, uh, I definitely felt like I belonged. The moment that I knew that I really belonged at Spot Hero was, uh, you know, um, in my third week, um, Mark Lawrence, our CEO, asked to, asked to meet with me for two and a half hours. I'm like, wow, my third week? I get to, you know, and uh, I walk in, I'm like, I know you're a really busy, busy guy. You know, we don't have to spend two and a half hours. He's like, no, I want to spend two and a half hours with you to, for you to, for me to spend a lot of time to educate you on, on the eight years I've learned about parking. And uh, I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. There's lots of moments at Spot Hero that I felt that I belong here. But there are lots of little moments. They're not one big moment. There are moments when says, somebody says, hello, how are you doing? Um, and, or someone checks in to see how you're doing. Or someone sits down next to you at lunchtime when you're sat on your own. Or someone that comes to you and has this big complaint. You can see it's really tough for them to talk about it, but they are telling you. Those are the moments I most belong. Um, it makes me feel really proud. I didn't know that culture was really a thing when I thought about work and what my career was gonna be like. Culture wasn't part of what I pictured and I really love that at Spot Hero. It's such a mission. Um, and being on the FIFA team, I get to really help for, further that mission and it just makes me really proud to be part of a company that values its employees and embraces their differences. Spot Hero's mission of building a culture of belonging makes me feel very good about the company, very optimistic. Um, very optimistic that we are going to become a large company um, without the trappings of, you know, sometimes the cultural trappings of large companies. So Spot Hero's mission um, on building culture just makes me feel accepted with the company. Um, in careers past that I've had before Spot Hero, uh, inclusion wasn't always at the top of the list and it was always, to be frank, it's like I was always the gay one. Um, we're here at Spot Hero, now I'm just part of the team and I'm not categorized at all and I'm allowed to be my full self each day um, and then put all my skills to work. Spot Hero's culture of belonging really feels like it came from when the company was really small. What I love about the culture of belonging now is even as we're growing and the culture is shifting, we're maintaining that, but also I think showing up in the way we hire and the way we come to work every day, and it's more formalized in a way which makes it um, easier to talk about. What Spy Hero's doing to build culture makes me feel great. Just being able to just walk around the office and see so many people that look different, that act different, that have different backgrounds, who have different passions outside of Spy Hero, it makes me feel good. It makes you feel like, you know what, this is the world that we should be living in. And the world is a big place and a lot of people look different and act different and uh, just, just different all together. But when you put something like that together and up, up under one roof, it makes me feel good. Um, a reason why Spot Hero is a place where you can be yourself. I have a hard time sometimes distinguishing like my friends from my coworkers at this point. 
whether we're playing beach volleyball or we're in a meeting or we're just eating at lunch, everyone is really welcoming and friendly. And I've been fortunate enough over time to have some of my closest friends be people that I work alongside with. I want others to know about Spot Heroes places and be myself because people here care about each other. They do. When people ask you, how are you doing? They actually mean it. You know, it's not how you doing okay, or how you doing, you, you know, you say, oh, I'm not doing okay, and they just walk off. No, people here actually care. I think there's a sense of, of ownership and people are proud of what they do here because they are themselves. Um, their ideas are original to them. And when you get to see something through from beginning to end and getting to put your own mark on it, it's truly really something special. What I really love about Spot Hero is I can have a good conversation, a debate, almost an argument about something, and we can agree or disagree, but we can find the rational and the best choice looking at all the different perspectives. And I love to be challenged, and I think Spot Hero definitely does that. Spot Hero is a place where you can be yourself, period. Um, I've been in other places where I felt the cubicle life, and I don't feel that here. Everybody has their own uh, style. Um, for me, and since I have my purple hair now, I felt very comfortable doing that without really even thinking about it. Um, but ultimately, it's just a place where you could be yourself and work. It's kind of like a fun, it's a fun mix. I am a Chicagoan. I am a people person. I am a family man. I am spot hero. I am a polygot. I am many things and I have many different skills. I am an adventurer. I love to discover new things. Sometimes that's scary and sometimes that's exciting. I am an engineer. I love to create. I love to build. I am Spot Hero. I am an introvert. I am an ally. I am a career switcher. I am Spot Hero. I am quirky. I am a company builder. I am an innovator. I am Spot Hero. I'm accepted. I'm loved. I'm included. I'm Spot Hero. Right. Um, I am a woman, I am a perfectionist, I'm a teacher, and I am Spot Hero. I am goofy, I am kind, I am empathetic, I am Spot Hero. I am creative, I am fun, I am determined, and I am Spot Hero. I am a woman, I am a daughter, I am an artist. I am Spy Hero. I'm a father. I'm an engineer. I'm excited. I'm very excited for Spy Hero's future. I am Spot Hero.